Hi, this is Lavita Victoria, and I'm here today to tell you about my toddler. He's um, just over two years old, his favorite books, and he's a bookworm. So I know I'm always looking for new ideas of, um, you know, what books he can read and stuff, what to check out at the library. So hopefully this help some other moms out. Um, so we have two sections of books. We keep a few downstairs in the living room. That's where we are right now. This is the coffee table, which has become his uh, toy table. Um, so first we have like a collection of mainly these Hello magazines, um, which are really great. They're by highlights and they're for, um, young ones i think up to like three years old and then um you graduate to a um bigger magazine but they come every month and we have a ton of them i wouldn't say these are his favorite books but these are must-haves for travel books i can put like 10 of them in my diaper bag because they're so thin I just stack them all up or I keep some in the car. And then um, like when I'm in doctor's offices uh, or anywhere where I need him to be quiet and sit still for a while, um, I can give him one of these or then we can read it together. Um, but uh, they have a lot of, they have like stories, poems, songs. Um, and the best thing is they're indestructible pages. So he chewed out through a ton of books, um, including library books that we had to purchase. So this is great because he can chew it. He, he can't chew it. He can't rip it. Um, and they're kind of like a glossy, very firm page. So um, we have a ton of these now. And uh, so they're great for the convenient travel factor. And then they have lots of random things that they learn. And then they'll take like a song that you know um, and then uh, they put a diff different words and a story to it. So uh, that's fun. We like doing that. So I would, I would definitely recommend the Highlights Hello magazine. And then another fun thing that Hello does is they have a Spotify playlist that comes out every month with each uh, magazine and it's themed to um, the magazine. So I know it's recommended you listen to music with your children and you don't always know what to put on. Um, so they have all different genres, like like this one's about colors. So um, it'd be any so kind of songs that might mention colors, but it's not necessarily children's songs. It's like, you know, it could be the Beatles or whatever. Um, so that's fun. Then um, his absolute favorite book that he has down here, where's Chicka Chicka Boom Boom? Here it is. So we got this kind of after he learned the alphabet. Um, so it didn't help him learn the alphabet, but it is, he's obsessed with it because it it's, sounds like a song, has really cute rhymes in it, and he knows all the words and he finishes it with me. So um, highly recommend Chicka Chicka Boom Boom. Boom Boom, yeah. Um, so that's his favorite one downstairs right now. Um, and then we have this I recommend for um, anyone who's going to have <laughs> that's Dean. Come here, Deanie. Come here. Back away from the camera, please. Thank you. So this is a great book um, if you're going to have a newborn and a toddler to introduce to your toddler what's happening. Um, we've pointed to who they have a big brother one. They have a big sister one as well. Um, but uh, we point to each one. He tells me that's Dean, that's baby Ed, Edward. Well, he says Eddie, um, but it's it's really cute. And you know they talk about uh, getting diapers and helping, and that is exactly what Deanie does um, to help me with Edward. That's the first thing that he did that was <laughs> nice towards his brother. Uh, so that's very sweet. Um, but it helps him understand. And then the last page is great talking about we're a family, mama, dada, um, you know, the older brother and then the baby, and then you can name them and uh, yeah, helps for understanding. So those are the two down here. Now we're gonna go upstairs to his room and uh, I'll show you his huge collection and explain his favorites right now. Okay, so now we're up in his room. 
we have this built-in shelf that's great. There's actually three shelves. Um, so the ones that are a little too advanced for him, I put on the very top shelf and I slowly bring uh, some down. And then the ones that he destroys more or that are very compromised, I stick on the, the second shelf, although he's starting to figure out how to get some of those down. Um, so I know you can't really see, but there's books all over the floor over here. This is what he does. Uh, I think toy wise books are his absolute favorite, which I'm not mad about. So, uh, let's talk about some of his favorites. This one, what's this one? Yeah. See you later alligator. This is hilarious because, um, my mom got it for him when she visited Florida and my brother took her on, I think a fan boat tour. And so it was at the gift shop there. And I think the whole reason he loves it is because of this finger puppet. So I'm sure it would be hard to find somewhere, but um, we love playing with it. And then um, it's kind of like the little red hen, like uh, the story about how the alligator is not doing anything to help the crocodile. And so then he loses out in the end and doesn't get to eat the lunch. Um, but they talk about like, I'm going shopping for some bread. Are you coming alligator? Not right now, crocodile. I must have a bath. And then, yeah, after a while, crocodile. So we do like the call and response with see you later, alligators, after a while, crocodile. And that just keeps happening throughout the book. So it's really cute. It's really fun. And at the end, I <laughs> can eat him with that. So um, puppet book. So that, that makes me think that I need to buy some puppet um, actual toys as well, because I think that he would enjoy that because... This is a new book that he likes. Um, we've had this book for quite a long time and he didn't show any interest until like a week ago and now it's nonstop. So you never know um, if your child doesn't like something right away, uh, just keep it around and you know, it might just not be the right time for it. But <laughs> see, he's, he just loves that puppet. Um, so that's, that's a top one. I'll put this over here. For a bedtime book, Good night, good night, construction site. Um, he knows all the trucks, so I'll prompt him with, um, you know, there's crane truck, bulldozer, cement mixer. He knows them all now. Um, and it's rhymy, and it, it's pretty wordy, I think, for, you know, just starting to. So uh, that's good. He loves it. Um, then a collection, we'll just say Dr. Seuss in general. But you have like three different kinds here. We have um, these bright and early board books, which are great. Um, they're, you know, kind of shortened versions of, of the bigger books. Like I have the same, like, oh, the things you can think. I have it in, in the small version and I have it in this, in this, um, I guess they call it early beginner books. But there are a few more pages in this one and he's discovered that. And so now he likes the big ones. Um, but... Uh, he, he gravitates, so all, all these, then, hey, <laughs> Didi, come back here. Then there, we got a series of um, All About Me. So here's, what's this one? The book. Tooth which, book. The Tooth Book, yeah. Um, so there's the Tooth Book, the Nose Book, the Eye Book. Um, come on back. He's, he can see the camera, so he's excited about that. Yeah. So yeah, he loves he loves these all about me books, and then the other Dr. Seuss ones that he loves, um, I'd say by far, Go Dog Go, must must must. It also teaches opposites, high low, um, an ABC book. This I, I think is what he really learned the ABCs from, because um, it, it's all rhymy, you know how Dr. Seuss is, and it's fun, and now he knows all the words. Um, so yeah, we read this way before we did Chicka Chicka Boom Boom, um, but they kind of have like a different purpose. Um, but yeah, so oh. Go Dog Go, ABC book, um, those All About Me books, and then the little ones, um, great to add to your collection for two-year-olds. Uh, we have a series, How Do Dinosaurs... This is, wait, which one is this? Eat their food. Eat their food. Yeah, there's also, we have Get Well Soon. We have How Do Dinosaurs Say I Love You. And we have How Do Dinosaurs, um, well, I can't remember. But they're all really 
uh, he gravitates towards them now. He, he's just starting to get into interested into dinosaurs. So um, that's why he likes these books, I think. So if your other one is so if you have one that loves dinosaurs too, <laughs> then uh, check those ones out. So to learn animal noises and the animals, farm animals, um, he loves Little Blue Truck. Um, he's he's into in, into some other things right now because he started with that. Um, but we have there's so many Little Blue Trucks. We have Halloween, Valentine's, um, Springtime. They have a good night one too um, that we checked out from the library. That was good, but we don't have it in our collection. But he's not he's not reaching for them anymore. Um, but it's like Cluck said a chicken and her chick said peep. You know, so it's sing songy and he can chime in. Um, so those are absolutely wonderful for farm animals. These I'm sure you've all seen these electronic books, Leapfrog. Um, so these are really good for independent play and, um, you know, you touch them. You can either do it just like the identification or you can switch it to uh, fun facts. Monkey is brown. My name is monkey. Or you can do like kind of like more, more noises and stuff. Um, so yeah, he... He can entertain himself with that. We have a words book and we have 100 animals books, but I think they have so many different kinds in that series. Um, I cannot talk about books without talking about this truck's book. It's a uh, flat book and they've got all these different uh, trucks. He really enjoyed learning what all the names were and then... Um, you know, there's people in there, and he says hello to, um, just like that. So if your little one loves vehicles, I actually found this off of another YouTuber um, whose son was really obsessed with uh, cars and things, and so I thought I'd try it, and oh my goodness, he loved it. He's memorized everything in it. Woo. Now when, this is flashback, so, um maybe like a year and a half year this was his favorite book he's since moved on but it's all about the planets i think he just likes uh kind of the pictures maybe um but he knows all of them and it's pretty uh it's a colorful fun book yeah. we also have a bunch of love every books um because i did the subscription till uh, gosh, 18 months or something like that. Um, and then we stopped because they get, they get progressively expensive, more expensive over time. But I got a specific kit just so that I could get the add-ons of ready to go pee and ready to go poop. And these are his favorite Love Every books and they're, they're, they're a lot bigger. They're very realistic, um, like all the real love every books are they have like um pictures of actual children um and so they can relate to it really well so i think for potty training it's going to be really great he understands it and he goes for these and asks me to read them uh, but we have not successfully done potty training yet i tried earlier at 18 months because i knew that you know newborn was coming and i didn't want to have um you know, you can't really, when they're going through a big period of change, you should try to potty train them because they'll just regress. Um, so now after we get used to um, baby land, then um, I'll try again. So I'll probably try again towards the end of the year um, when he's feeling settled with everything. But I definitely recommend these, I think, for potty training. Okay, some other staples that I think just everyone should have in their collection. Corduroy, very cute. About a little bear in a store um, and the girl who adopts him. Uh, everyone probably already knows Goodnight Moon. Not necessarily for two-year-olds. You can read this much earlier. Um, but at two, they can start um, filling in the blanks and saying all the words that they've been hearing for so long. Um, so that's fun. Another nighttime book, Llama Llama Red Pajama. Hilarious and very good about being patient talking about you have to wait on mom 
Mama, llamas, uh, what, what does she say? Um, Mama Llama's always near, even if she's not right here. Um, so it's a good, good nighttime lesson. And then the llama goes to bed. So that's one that we like to read around bedtime a lot. And then this one is so cute, the pout pout fish. Uh, yeah, he's, he's very glum and gloomy and he meets all these other sea creatures and they're all telling him to turn his frown upside down. And then a fish comes and kisses him and he learns that he's a kiss kiss fish, not a pout pout fish. So, um, it's cute. Okay, now these are some uh, shelf three books that I'll introduce in a little bit. They're still a little wordy, but all these little golden books and, and the pages are very thin. So I have to, you know, make sure I, he's being really good about not ripping things, but uh, he loses interest when there's, you know, paragraphs on a page. So even some of like the later Dr. Seuss's like... So even stuff like, oh, say, can you say? There's just too many words in it. He, he loses interest. But these ones, I can't wait to show them because they're, you know, the traditional stories, Three Little Bears, Little Cottontail. I've got a ton of these, and these are, like, from my childhood. So I actually saved these, um, and I hope that he'll enjoy them one day, Little Engine that could. Uh, but one day we'll get there. Okay, and his latest one that he's just discovered that I've put down on the shelf for him is the bike lesson. And I don't know if it's because dad's teaching him how to ride a bike, but he loves this book. Uh, so yeah, that's what I would recommend uh, for a two-year-old. Um, and especially if they like vehicles, dinosaurs, um, vehicles and dinosaurs and animals. Uh, that's primarily his jam and Dr. Seuss. Can't go wrong there. So hopefully this video was a lot shorter than uh, my previous ones um, and offered you some information. Uh, but I wanted to share in case you needed some Daddy, new ideas Daddy. of what to um, have your little one read. Uh, but I, if you're new to the channel, please like, comment, and subscribe. Um, you can check out my previous videos. If you'd like and uh, hopefully you'll stick around for some more content and I'll see you next week thanks for watching bye you want to say bye Dean no no <laughs> yeah toddlers say no <laughs> bye